Hi, in this video I'm going to do a quick review on the XSmartU HD 720p wireless security kit. So it comes with four cameras. I already uh, mounted two of them inside my ha uh, outside my house, my backyard. Uh, I'll just open up one box to show you how it comes. So I, I have multiple cameras around my property. Uh, one thing I really like about these XSmartU kit is that it's super simple super simple to set up and it has minimal cables coming outside. I have others that come with like a bunch of like 10 cables here. This has got two cables, a power and a Ethernet port which has a nice plug over here to help keep it waterproof. To set it up all you gotta do is screw in the antenna which is right over here and then put in three screws one two and three and mount it on the wall. Then you plug in the power source and you got your camera. On the back are is a sticker, 2.8 millimeter. Two of the cameras are 2.8 millimeter, and two of them are 4 millimeter. That's uh, depending on how wide of an angle you want. On the front, you can see it's got five IR LEDs for night vision. Over here is the antenna. Yeah, obviously it's uh, it bends and adjusts. So. Um, Here's the power cords. Uh, it looks similar to a cell phone adapter. Uh, one of the little annoying thing I had oh, when I was trying to plug it into my uh, outdoor waterproof box, since it sticks out so much, it didn't fit in a single gang box. I had to uh, switch it to a double gang waterproof enclosure in order for it to fit properly. Not the biggest deal, but just a heads up. So, these all connect automatically to the DVR. All you gotta do is plug it in and it automatically connects. So I already opened up this DVR, but let me show you how it looks closed up. So here are two screws, which I recently took out from over here. So this just um, goes this way. It just uh, slides in over here, and then screws shut in the back. So I already opened this up, so I'm not going to go in circles. So here are the two screws. Okay, so now what I'm going to be doing first is installing my Western Digital Surveillance Hard Drive. This is not included. I know they sell kits that have hard drives included. Uh, this kit, the this specific model, did not have it included. So I went ahead and bought um, a hard drive to uh, install. So the setup should be relatively simple. Hold on a second, let me move my camera so you can see it better. Alright, okay, so that should be good enough for you for now. While I do this, I just need my hands free, so we can do this. Okay, so on the back here, you can see are the connections. I have not done this before, but I'm assuming it's not that hard. So what do we have here? We got two cables here. One is for power. one is going to be for data okay that plugged in fine over there uh, okay and that goes in over there those just um, plug right in now let me just double check the instructions make sure it's all I need it says unscrew it Connect the SATA power and data cables from the NVR to the corresponding ports on the hard drive. Okay, did that. Now place into the NVR. Make sure that uh, none of the cables are underneath the hard drive. And then you got to carefully put in the 
included screws that came with the NVR. So we're going to carefully put it down over here, try not to damage this expensive 2 terabyte hard drive. 2 terabyte is more than enough for days of video footage. So be careful that none of the cables are being uh, squeezed or kinked in any way. I'm going to open this bag. Take out all four screws. And just put them down. Okay, now this part you got to be careful. Uh, you got to hold the hard drive and turning it upside down. Uh, making sure not to drop the hard drive because that will be the end of your hard drive. Okay, once it's upside down, you'll be able to see there are breathing vents on this NVR so that the hard drive can breathe properly without getting uh, overheated. So now you just gotta line up the holes. You can see I lined it up over there. So I'm doing this on the fly. I haven't ever used the NVR before, nor have I put in a hard drive into an NVR before. But looking at the instructions, I didn't think it would be too complicated. So I decided I may as well make a video because what's complicated for one person might be easy for someone else. I'd rather just make it easy for everyone. I'm just screwing these in a little with my hand. Then I'm going to take a screwdriver and tighten it more. I did two opposite ends for starting just to make sure everything is lined up. Now I'm going to do the other two screws. So Xmardo was kind enough to provide this to me as a sample in exchange for me uh, creating an unbiased review. And this is totally unbiased. I have no reason to do it in their favor or not in their favor because honestly I got so many cameras and so many companies do this to me that I really don't care if it's a bad camera. I'll clearly tell you so. Okay, so I just put in all four screws, as you can now see, and that locks my Western Digital 2 terabyte hard drive into place. Now if you see, I made sure all my cables are raised above and not in the way at all. Now we're going to put back on the top panel. So you just got to slide it in one side and then on the back are two screws one here and one over here right next to the antennas on the outer edge of the antenna those are the same screws we I opened up before starting this video try not to drop them especially if you're going to create a video like me because that will just be embarrassing and they don't come with any extra screws so you're gonna have to find them so the unique thing about the Xmarto uh, DVR is that as you can see there are two antennas here a regular DVR connects to your hard drive uh, it connects to your router or uh, some other way, you know, hardwired or something. Uh, the, the only issue with that is that it, it could clog your data signals, right? If you have a lot of 1080p cameras or 720, whatever it is, uh, streaming 
you know, this high high quality video, it's going to slow down when you're, your movies and other stuff that you're trying to watch. So this is its built-in router. So basically what happens is the cameras, they're all set up beforehand. When you plug them in, it just connects automatically to this router. And then if you want to connect it to the internet to be able to remote view it, it's got a uh, port right here where you can just plug in your ethernet cable. Over here are also two uh, USB ports. That's for the included mouse. Right over here. And you just plug this in. And then you got the D DC 12 volts and HDMI port. And then you got a VGA. It's got a v audio out, but that's uh, closed off for some reason. I guess, you know, it depends which model you're using. And then it's got two big antennas here. Help create a strong signal. And over here are a couple you know, lights to show you what's going on. So now I'm going to go on to my next step. Hold on a second. Okay. So what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna take the cord right here. Uh it's in the video. Okay. okay. I'm just gonna plug it in. Power it back up. Now my cable's not gonna reach I think. Um, but what we'll do is next we'll plug in the data cable and then an HDMI cable. Then plug in the data. Got a mouse right here. We'll leave it here for convenience. And then what I'm going to do is over here, I'm going to, uh, just for the convenience of this video, I'm going to set up my projector right here so we could see how to use this DVR. So a projector. I'm gonna power it up right now. Now I'm gonna plug the HDMI from the projector into the back of the DVR. So if you have um if you have uh, a screen It'll probably be a little easier and better quality, but I just don't have one right now, unfortunately. So I'm going to do it like this. Here's my projector. Uh, I'm gonna cut the lights over here so you can see better. Okay, sorry, just uh, getting everything set up here. I'm gonna move the camera a little, so we got a better angle. Yeah, the hum in the background is the noise of my Projector. It is not the. Sorry, just a drop more. Okay, it is not um the NVR. Okay. Okay. So you can see over there. Uh, you can see my gas line. Uh, in the middle of the picture, probably not what you care so much to see. Um, but what you do care is 
the video and just adjust the projector so you get a clearer screen. Unfortunately. Okay, well, it is clearer than this, but this is the best I can do uh, right now. So over here, you can see camera one, and here is camera two. Unfortunately, if this projector looks a little blurry. You know, let me turn it over here. You can see my messy laundry room. Video one. Yeah, there's too much in the way. So let me just turn it back over here and we'll do it like this. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. Okay. So here is one video oh, camera. That's one, two, three, four. Those are blank. So this is, uh, I'm moving through these just by scrolling the mouse. That's a pretty convenient feature. Uh, if you're dealing with uh, security situations, you want to be able to easily, you know, flip through, get to the one you want. Now, if you right click, you get to the options. And then, what uh, the first thing you got to do is get a better screen so you can see this. Okay, here, much better. Okay, so the first thing you got to do is go to uh, system setup. Okay, well, that's done. Record setup. So here it shows you uh, what times and the schedule for when you want to do any recording. You can do you know 24/7, etc. Or you can do you know time and day, however you want. Over here it shows you the network state, channel setup, uh, mul multiple options. So here is the hard drive info. So you see it says WD20. Um, it shows the capacity of 1863 gigabytes. And then it says it's unformatted. So what you want to do is you want to uh, format that, I think, um, in order to. before you start recording just for uh, safety but, I mean, honestly I don't think it's necessary but you know, it's up to you so here you can go through a bunch of different settings to um, create um, it, it's got like so many so many options uh, the recording setup, the general setup uh, channel setup. There's, there, it, it's basically it works very simple, out of the box, done. If you want to do a more complicated setup, it gives you that too, which is really nice. Because some systems are like really complicated, and some are really simple, and a lot of them don't give you both options. This one gives you both options, so that's nice. Okay, here's an option called manual record. So you can pick uh, which one and start recording. Which camera. Here's a video manage. It shows you which uh, cameras are, are connected. And then you can go to uh, advanced and do extra stuff. 
You can also access these uh, from the from the computer um, by by logging into the network to get to it. Um, did I do everything? Uh, okay, right here is the uh, option to format the hard drive. So you, you might want to click that first. Click it. Let's hit apply. Oh, okay. First, you got to check off the box and click format. Everything's going to be deleted or really short. Okay, I'm going to do that. You know, just in case I'm bought or returned to start anything. You know, this way it'll format and be ready to go. So th th this is the the camera system that uh, I recently got. It's really simple to set up and install. It could work 100% alone without internet connection, which is really nice for people who don't have internet in their house. Uh, let's say it's a remote location where you don't always have internet, or you just don't have Wi-Fi, you don't pay for it uh, for whatever reason. So this is nice because you could have this recording everything without you know any uh, any need for internet and then if you want to access the data you can just connect your you know whatever it is to this hard drive and view it if you want to connect it to your internet so then you could uh, connect it to your phone uh, by downloading the Xmarto uh, pixel app or the ECnet app and you could view it from there you can also go to the ECNet website and log in and view it from there also. So you could view it remotely as well. So it's really nice because without having to do complicated port forwarding, etc., you know, it really works out of the box, you know, pretty simply. So here's a record setup. Yeah, so you can do say channel. Do channel one. So it's got you know what you want. You can do it every day. It's scheduled from 24/7 to just record. Done. And you click apply to. And you can copy the settings to the other cameras. Copy done. Okay. Now it should be recording. Uh, let's hit apply and okay. Now um, this is at night, so you're you're seeing what, what's called night vision. It's uh, you know pretty much black and white image of my backyard. These are actually two separate cameras. I know it looks a little um, you know the pictures look similar. That's because it's just two two separate angles viewing um, you know viewing my cars and you know the different entrances to my house you know basement entrance and uh, you know basement entrance over here and this is you know back door entrance so the cameras uh, completely cover you know they, they, they basically cover it's overcompensating you're basically getting two views of anything that might happen uh, which is you know they gave me four cameras so I'm using it to the best of my ability so uh, in the front of my house, I currently have a different camera set up. So it's going to take a little time for me to take that one down and put this one up. So that's why I didn't uh, redo all the wiring yet for that. Because uh, the old one had a little more complicated wiring. But uh, once I do that, I'm going to add more cameras. You know, watching the front and side of the house over here. Uh, this one on the right, you can see it's the, uh, the one that's you know, a closer out picture. And this one's a further out one. That, that's the difference between the 2.8 millimeter and the 4 millimeter cameras. Uh, so you can pick which one you want. So uh, my my opinion of these cameras, it is one of the simplest, easy to set up cameras that I have so far. The controls are amazing. It got a lot of functions. It's got very simple for people who don't want to do a lot with it, but it's got very sophisticated for people who want to do a lot with it. The video resolution is 720p, so it's obviously not as good as my 1080 cameras, but that's expected because it's 720p. But some people like only 720 because that's already high definition.